And today I'll illustrate how to use tile clones in Inkscape version 0.45. With it, I'll create a checkerboard background and illustrate some of the effects that are present in the tile clones dialog box. Let's begin. First, we'll draw a box. I'll make it 75 by 75 pixels. I'll duplicate this, make it gray, and I'll align these two together here. I'll group these and duplicate the group, flip it horizontally, and align these two together. And create a grouping there. This will become the basis for our checkerboard background. Next we'll go into edit, clone, create tile clones. Here we could just simply hit the create button and we have a checkerboard background. Let me undo this and get back into it. Just by simply selecting these values and changing them. We can change our rows and columns. So I'll hit create again and now I've got five columns and five rows. And that's quite simply how you make a checkerboard background. Didn't get any easier than that. So let me undo this and let's explore some of the other features in our create tile clones dialog box. Next let's go to shift. Okay what the shift does is allow us to shift the original by a certain percentage along the X and Y value. So for example, I can put 25% each of these input boxes and hit create. And you'll see that each one of these has been shifted 25%. Let me undo that. We'll go back into the dialog. Set these things back down to zero. We'll go to scale. This allows us to scale our original in the X and Y value by a certain percentage. So if I choose 5% in each one of these input boxes and hit create, you can see that our clone has grown by 5% on each one of these. Let me undo this. These fact values back down to zero. Next we'll go into the rotation tab. Here we can adjust the row and the column angle. I'll do 15 degrees for the row, 30 degrees for the column, and hit create. And you can see the effect this makes. Let me undo this. Get back in here. Set these back down to zero. And finally, we'll do the Blur and Opacity tab. This is kind of a neat one. We'll set our Blur to 5 on each of the row and the column, and our Fade to 5. And we'll hit Create. And you can see that by the time the original gets down to the end, it's been almost completely faded away. set these values back down to zero. Okay, now you have other options in here such as color and trace, but I'm not going to be talking about those today. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you. I'm HeathenX.